Hey there, Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. How are you guys? Thank you so much for your patience. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I am so very sorry, you guys, but I completely forgot about you guys. I got confused because I thought, well, I had done the Aries cusp already, but it was only the Aries Taurus Taurus cusp. It wasn't the Pisces Aries cusp. So here we are. Again, thank you so much for your patience. I sincerely apologize for this oversight. Completely my fault. Totally like total brain fart there. But okay. So this is going to be a general reading, a general energy reading for your month of March. Obviously, we're at the end of March now because it's the 23rd of March, but that's okay. Um, this message would still probably be relevant for you. It's whatever you need to hear over this time period. Yeah, and keep in mind that it doesn't actually have to resonate just for March. It can resonate with you with any at any time that you when you watch this reading. Okay, so if you you would be considered a Pisces Aries cusper if you were born between the dates of March 17th through the 23rd, yeah? So we're just going to be looking at your general energies and whatever general messages we have for you. And I may end up getting like some little extra oracle guidance for you guys because I did forget about you. But let's just get into it and see what we have for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of March 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. Alrighty, kids, let's see what we've got for you here. So I'm going to use, going to start with the, um, uh, the, what is this? The energy Oracle deck, and we'll just see what's in your timeline here. <laughs> I just saw two, two, two on the timer. Um, that's what's going on. What's in your story? Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. One last shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for you. Let's see. Pisces, Aries. Pisces, Aries. What's, what other messages do we have for the Pisces, Aries, Cuspers for the month of March 2020? Oh. Okay. So we have indecision. We have the sixth chakra with Archangel Metatron. Sixth chakra is your third eye chakra. But that's come out in reverse. Indecision is upright. And then you also have community, which is upright. Okay. Um, so you guys, I really feel like you are at a point right now where you are trying to walk away from something or you're trying to leave something behind or you're trying to make some sort of decision to move in some sort of direction that is meant for you is what I just heard. Uh, uh, I just heard job experience. Okay, so you could be in, uh, well, let me go, let me start here. You're in an indecisive place right now because you're trying to make a decision as to which direction you're going in, but your vision is clouded. You can't see clearly. And I have, I have a feeling that has a lot to do with a lot of people that are around you. And what I heard specifically was, uh, your job experience. Something makes you more qualified for something than others. If we're talking business, if we're talking work, I feel like someone is in a position here where they have adequate, even more than adequate job experience in order to go in a certain direction, in order to start a career for themselves, in order to apply for or even accept some sort of promotion, some sort of higher position. But there are people around you that are super envious. Now, they're either envious of you because they know you are super qualified for this and they're just jealous because they're jealous, jealous people, or it's a very misery loves company type of thing where you're trying to move forward, you're trying to better your life, and they're just not having it. Now, they may not necessarily be aware of it. Um, you may not have necessarily spoken about it to them, mainly because I feel like some of you are aware that's, that some of them would try to sabotage you or um, you have, and you know, it's not that bad of a sabotaging thing, but there's lack, I, I just feel like there's this lack of encouragement here that's happening. 
There could be some people that are just like, you know, Debbie Downers and they're just trying to uh, almost not really trying to rain on your parade. I'm, I'm picking that. It's not that they're trying to rain on their parade, rain on your parade. It's just that you have a deeper, greater sense of self that they don't necessarily have. And so what they're, what it is that they're bringing forward towards you, whatever negativity or lack of, or less than ideal encouragement that they're bringing forward towards you, that's just a product of their own selves, of their own mindset. Okay, but either way, it's something that's clouding your judgment. And I really do feel like it's some sort of external circumstance, uh, people around you, a community around you. Now, you do have door to personal healing and happiness here, okay, guys, with the healer of the ages. And with the healer of the ages, uh, I'm getting two things. One, either you are this healer or you, ha so you have this ability healing ability, um, uh, a master, uh, you've mastered something or you've gotten some sort of certification that allows you to be a healer, to break free from the status quo, to go into business for yourself, to go in a direction that is way more pleasing for you and thus is bringing you more joy and happiness, or you have the healers, the ascended masters, angels, whatnot, spirit, whatnot, on your side, 100% supporting you in how, whichever way you want to move. But again, there's that envious energy of the people around you that just don't kind of don't want to see you succeed in some cases for some of you. And for others of you, it's not that they don't want to see you succeed. It's just that they can't fathom you moving in this direction and being successful just because they don't see it that way. And so they're just going there. I mean, some of them may be trying to be supportive, but ultimately what I feel like is happening here for you, Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, it's that you have this higher awareness that is allowing you to have the desire to move in this direction. And yet your judgment is being clouded again by the people around you. With all of that said, you do have angel of strength at the bottom of the deck and you have storm warning. You also have anxiety. Ooh, and you also have deceit. Okay. Um, but you know, some of you know, something is coming. Something you, some of you know that there's a big change that's coming. But the angels are in fact on your side here. You're being supported in this. All right. Okay, so let's get into some clarity here for you guys. And really what I want to look at the most right now is Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron, but it's in reverse. Clouding your judgment. Clouding your judgment. I just feel like you're allowing yourself to be swayed. And Aries is a type of energy that's not necessarily going to be swayed like that, but then add that Pisces energy into it. Pisces is very communally based, very communally oriented. Pisces is the last sign in the Zodiac. And once you reach Pisces after running through the gamut of the whole, all 12, all of the 11 previous signs, excuse me, or I should say 12 previous signs, if you, if you recognize Ophiuchus, um, then by the time you reach Pisces, you're in a very much collective mind space. And so, and this very well, maybe we're talking to a masculine individual or someone that is just heavily masculinely oriented energetically, and there's a sense of duty involved in this. Maybe some of them, maybe some people are literally manipulating you, manipulating you in that way, or maybe there's just a sense of duty that you have. But for some reason, these people around you have a lot of sway or a lot of pull with you right now. And it's clouding your judgment. Okay. So let's look at sixth chakra with Archangel Metatron here in reverse. Why is that here for my Pisces, Aries, Cuspers? Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well, overall energy is the 10 of pentacles. All right, so this is a completion of a lesson. This is this is a lesson learned. This is a cycle that's coming to completion. Something that is really needing to come to an end, some sort of physical circumstance that's needing to come to an end. What the Ten of Pentacles is also telling me is that you guys have probably been working at this for a very long time because the Ten of Pentacles is an energy of, um, yes, stability, but like being in something for the long haul, longevity, long-term commitment, long-term plan, 
all right? You have the King of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles, but then you also have Justice in Reverse. And it's interesting because what I'm feeling with the Queen of Pentacles is there is... Okay, what I'm getting with this, guys, is that um, this isn't necessarily why your judgment is clouded. This is guidance as to what you need to do in terms of this clouded judgment. You need to remember certain things. One, Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is an individual who knows exactly what it is she is worthy of. She's grounded. She's stable. She's secure. She's a nurturer. She's a homemaker. She's the wife, wife archetype. The archetype aspect, the wifey aspect of it, that's not necessarily what's really the strongest message here. Although you might be, oh, okay, well, I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something else now. But initially what I was picking up on is this is the energy of knowing what you're worth. But also she's the type of individual that's not really going to try and enable anybody. Like if you're not holding up your part of the bargain, your end of the deal, then sorry, I can't help you. I'm not doing your work for you. I'm not taking on your responsibilities just because you're too lazy or you just don't want to do it, right? With the King of Swords energy here, this is needing to see something clearly as it truly is. Because right now, there is a lack of justice in your life. Justice is not being served. Now, here's the other thing that's coming through with this. With this queen of pentacles energy or like this wifey energy maybe you are the wife or the feminine energy in this situation and your spouse your husband the masculine in terms of your situation is this hard-headed hard to deal with king of swords energy and thus you two aren't meeting eye to eye and so ultimately whatever this situation is for you justice is not being served here and with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like, I, I feel like you've exhausted all of your options, all, all of your options. I want to look deeper into the, into justice in reverse here. What is just, why is justice in reverse for my Pisces, Aries, Cuspers? Oh, Five of Pentacles, lack of mentality. And something specific that's coming through here, guys, you could have a, a, a wife, a husband, a, uh, let me say, a spouse or a significant other or a romantic partner that is purposely trying to keep you down or is only reinforcing this lack of mentality, this lack of self-belief, this lack of worthiness that you have or that you're experiencing or that you've been working through. And here's strength yet again. Having the strength to overcome this, having the strength to look at this person and say, you know what? I know what I'm worthy of and I'm cutting this out. All right. Um, let's look at community. So why is community here for my Pisces, Aries, Cuspers? What is this about? All right. Well, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, so there is definitely a new start ahead of you. You have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and the Nine of Cups does speak to personal satisfaction, being happy, independent of other people. Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here on community? Seven of Cups and the Tower. Aha! Look at this, Pisces, Aries, Cusper, with strength at the bottom of the deck yet again. Guys, you are needing to have the strength to stand up for what you believe in and to put, to, I'm sorry, to stand up for what you believe in or stand up for what it is you're moving towards and to put the confusion to a rest. Look, y'all, y'all don't have a, you really don't have a say in all of this. I want to go in the direction that I want to go in. This is what's right for me. And I'm not going to allow you to tie me down or to stop me any longer. 
And here's the thing about it, Pisces, Aries, Cusper. What I'm really feeling for you is that you're not as confused as you might think. Again, it's all of these people around you here that are only helping to make you feel confused. Watch. Why? Because I bet you, I bet you, some of you are in these positions where it's like when you're by yourself, when you're on your own, when your mind is clear and you have no external noise that is trying to distract you, you know exactly what it is that you want. You are crystal clear on it. But then as soon as you get around this circumstance or this situation or these people, then here comes all the confusion. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Okay. So now let's go to the Moonology deck here. And let's get you some guidance in terms of this oracle. It's just to close out this message for you. And then I kind of, since I was, since I completely forgot about you guys, I am so very sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get you a closing oracle guidance card from the uh, Lightworker Oracle. Yeah? You know, I actually heard the whispers of love. Yeah, we're going to do that instead. Okay, so one last shuffle. Let's look at what the Moonology deck has for you in terms of this closing out this cycle or closing out this reading. For my Pisces, Aries, Cusper. Oh, shoot. I want to get one more card here for you. There it is right there. All right. Wow. Wow. Cardinal Moon, be bold and make the first move. Wow. Then we also have mm -hmm, New Moon in Pisces. Here you go. There you are, Pisces. Uh, meditate and contemplate. And then you have Full Moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. But then you all, oh, oh, you're going to focus. You're going to, you're not, you're not going to focus. No, you're not going to focus. Okay, that's fine. But then you have first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. And this is exactly what we were talking about, guys. As when, when you're on your own, when you're by yourself, you're good, you're strong. You know exactly what it is that you want. But then as soon as the, as soon as everyone else gets involved, now all of a sudden you're indecisive. Now all of a sudden you're confused. Now all of a sudden you don't know what you want or you don't know that the, uh, that you want this or that any longer. Y'all know better than that. All right. Let's get some, let's see what the Whispers of Love has for you here. Oh, now we're all kinds of blurry. Oh, oh well. All right, let's see what the Whispers of Love has for you. Oh. Okay. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Union of Hearts. So maybe some of you are looking to move towards a new partner, a romantic partner, because you do have true love here, okay? But now also what I'm seeing this as is the balance and union and harmony within yourself between the masculine and feminine energy within you, or at least just your relationship with yourself. And something about that is telling me that you can, in fact, trust yourself here. Whatever it is your heart is leading you towards, trust it. You can trust it. Embrace your emotions. Don't allow others to tell you how to feel or tell you what it is you should be doing with your life. Okay. All right. Let's get a one last closing message from the Lightworker Oracle. From my Pisces, Aries, Cuspers. Yeah. All right. Closing message, please. Spirit from my Pisces, Aries, Cuspers for the month of March 2020. Card number 17, Family of Light. Oh, turned right to it. Okay. The limits that much of humanity place on their love, that they will love their own family, country, religion, or community better than they love those on the outside, do not restrain your heart. You are capable of loving humanity, of loving all creation on earth as an extended spiritual family. You will love all as your own. You are meant to belong to a broader family. 
of light. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. So moving forward, Cusp readings are going to move to Patreon. Yes, um, if you haven't followed me on Patreon yet, you can find the link to that in the description box below, but it is also patreon.com slash divine conversations with a capital D and a capital C. Um, but all cusp readings are going to move over to Patreon. So if you would like to continue receiving cusp readings, I totally recommend that you follow me there. It's only $7 a month and you get a bunch of other things. You get your general energy and your love reading. And, and I'm actually most likely going to put that all in one recording and you get extra, you know, extended readings when I feel called to do so, um, Patreon specific, uh, Patreon subscriber sp specific readings, um, twin flame readings. So looking specifically into the divine masculine energies, and then also looking into the divine feminine energies and all that good stuff. Plus some other things that I roll out as the time goes on. Yeah. So hopefully you'll follow me there. If not, I look forward to connecting with you again normally. Okay. Well, normally what's normal? I don't know. Whatever. I love you guys. I hope you have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yep. Take care. Mwah. Bye. Tee -hee -hee.